This is Amen from Bluebot Systems and I'm here at 3DX25 in Houston. I've got special access to SolidWorks 95 and I want to show you what that looks like. I'm creating a new part here by going to file and then click on on you and then choose in part. I'm going to click on OK. Now recording macros hasn't really changed in 30 years. I'll go to tools, macro and record and I'll select a plane and then insert a sketch. I have the ability to choose um, different sketch entities. So you actually have to click on the center and then hold your mouse key and drag it. We have created a sketch. I'm going to insert a boss feature and then I'm going to create an extrude and then choose, uh, for example, 10 and then click on OK. If I click here on shaded, that would make the presentation look slightly nicer here. Created a 3D uh, disk in 3D space. Now I can actually stop recording this macro. I'm going to click on save in this SolidWorks directory. So save my macro as SWB, not SWP, which is the uh, newer extension. In SolidWorks, I'm not going to save anything. I'm going to close this document and see if I can actually reload or rerun my macro. So that's macro.swb and I'm just going to click on open and tada it creates the same geometry. Now if you go to macro and then edit and open the SW macro, you can see the code that the uh, SolidWorks uh, VBA engine has actually generated. And you can see that it's using create object. All of these API calls date all the way back to 95, 30 years ago, and they still work today in 2025. That's awesome. Now SolidWorks has added new API calls. They're more stable and they do a better job at sketching. It's very interesting to see API code that was designed 30 years ago that still runs in 2025. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic dive into SOLIDWORKS 95 and its pioneer API. If you need any help with SOLIDWORKS or the PDM API, then please feel free to reach out to me directly or contact us at bluebyte.biz contact. Thank you.